is Josh, and in this video, we're going to show you how to lock your regulator. Uh, after you've chronographed and your V12 is field legal. <clears throat> so the first thing we're gonna do is when you're at the chrono station, you will adjust your velocity. So you will turn counterclockwise if it's at zero, or if your pressure is too high, you can always go counterclockwise. But in this case, we'll go clockwise, and I know that my V12 shoots 1.5 joules at 80 PSI, so I'm just going to turn clockwise until my the needle on my gauge is at 80 PSI. Then your uh, field marshal or ref will use a zip tie. Now you'll see here there are two small holes on the top cap above the velocity adjustment screw. The velocity adjustment screw is already below the holes once it's at about 30 PSI, so you have plenty of adjustment range to be able to get a zip tie in there. You can use a regular zip tie, or you can use a special color zip tie, or even a field specific one that has a tag with the field's um, logo and information on it so that they know that you've been locked. And I like to insert the zip tie fully, pull it tight, then if you choose, you can snip off the excess so you don't have anything hanging off. And now your reg is locked. And what this does is this prevents you from getting your key. There's no way to move it to the side to get your key in there to crank up your velocity. So they lock your velocity for your rifle. And that is how you lock the reg on your Valken QD SLP. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media and you'll get the exclusives from Valken Sports.